All right, before I jump into today's video uh, and make sure to watch the second part of uh, this video because I've got some good information that I want to share with you. Individuals that are anyone that's a trader that's watching this video that may be um, feeling discouraged or possibly even frustrated when it comes to trading in the futures. But I want to say this because people always ask me, Mike, how can I come become an elite member to where I gain access to your trade breakdowns as well as the video playlist, which is a link by link series of videos that I've um, made private to the elite members. Uh, basically, what it is is a list of videos that I pulled off of the channel. There's 800 videos out there. So I pulled off a series of linked uh, or series of videos that I feel cover the most um, pertinent information, uh, the information that really um hits home to a lot of individuals stressing uh, how i trade and you know the strategy um and just other various topics as well okay that i feel are important that traders need need to understand and know so if you're interested in becoming an elite member find the link down in the description portion of the video i will be posting a trade breakdown video either today or tomorrow by the end of the weekend covering a few trade setups that i took this week um you know from and, you know, I post my trades over on the Discord community. So lots of times, not just myself, but as well as other traders as well. But uh, I will go through breakdown of a few setups that I took over the week. So you uh, can gather a understanding as well of the trades that I've taken. That has helped a lot of traders out. And I, I thank you for everyone that's commented and sent me uh, direct messages. Let me know, Mike, I appreciate you making those trade breakdown videos because they have definitely helped me. So. If you're out there and you're watching this video for the first time or someone that's part of the community already and wants to become an elite member, it's only $6.99. Find the link down in the description portion of the video right below the Discord link. You'll see a link that says become an elite member. Click on that. You'll see two tiers pop up. Make sure to choose the one for $6.99, the elite channel supporter tier, and you'll be able to gain access to the trade breakdowns and the video playlist. All the other little perks and rewards that you receive through the YouTube tier program. Because basically what you're doing is supporting my efforts as a content creator. And I'm giving something back to you just as well. Also, I'm going to be putting together a short little video uh, made privately to the elite members. So if you're not an elite member, you want to become an elite uh, member of the channel. Again, scroll down, find that link down in the description portion of the video. I'm just going to, in this video here, I'm going to be going, um, talking about, on the charts showing you because a lot of people have a, have a hard time i guess when it comes to properly getting out of a trade fast enough to preserve capital i talked about you know this in a video before but i want to go into a little bit more detail in reference to maybe you're not specifically waiting for um you know a two candle push in the opposite direction to get out of the trade. I'm going to show you a technique of how you can actually get out even sooner than that. If you're someone that's, you know, you see yourself getting into a trade and it quickly turns back against you. Okay. And, and to preserve or to present yourself, prevent yourself from taking any kind of drawdown. Maybe you have a very limited amount of money or account. Um, this will help you out and get you out of the trade quick enough before it even hits your stop loss. So I'll talk about that as well. And, uh, we'll look at a few examples, um, of what I'm talking about, because a lot of times the market may start to move you in direction. And if you ever saw it turn back around and let's say we're taking a trade going short, it turned back around, even after you got the rejection and then it just blasted to the upside. Well, that does happen. Okay. And the market is not always going to, you know, work in our favor. We have to understand that there are going to be times when you're going to take losses. And the key is to minimize those losses using proper risk management to get out of the trade quick enough. But that's all I want to say. Uh, go ahead and take some time and watch the second part of this video. And uh, hopefully it helps anyone out there who's struggling with any type of discouragement or frustration in their life when it comes to trying to figure out this, this whole journey, this whole business of trading. Take care. All right. So this video today is probably going to touch uh, the hearts and minds and even the souls of many individuals out there that trade futures on the daily basis or are looking to start getting into the business of trading futures. Um, whether it's the indices, currencies, um, you know, commodities, whatever it is that you want to trade as far as one of the asset classes um, surrounding futures. All right. So maybe you're someone that's frustrated and nervous or maybe feel even discouraged because uh, you tried trading a few times and have failed. OK. And maybe you've blown several accounts. Um, so I just want to kind of kind of like 
have a me to you conversation. I've had these kind of heartfelt things in the past. Um, but this is real stuff and it's reality because we all come from different avenues and uh, different places and different corners of the world and and, and, uh, and, and in life. Um, some have had more hardship than others and, and some have had more success. But we're all here for one reason and that is to truly make it within the business of trading futures if I'm, you know, just truthfully speaking, right? And in today's video, I just want to kind of give some pointers, maybe some advice. Maybe these these couple of things that I'm going to list off may help you uh, to push forward in your journey and not kind of fall victim to or or, or in trap of, um, you know, some people may say stop trading and, and go find a real job or, you know, it could be that family member or that friend. You know, you have to push yourself in life to really want something and be passionate about it and push forward like i was passionate about trading in which i knew nothing about to be honest with you trading the futures when i first started but it sounded good to me and i just started kind of doing some research and said hey if this person can do it then i can do it as well and th that's real stuff that's real talk i mean if you put your mind to it you know you can accomplish anything in this life that you want to we're all not built for um to do everything in life that other people are doing we're, we're destined and designed to do certain things and uh but you know if, if you have the heart and the mind you can push yourself to attempt to do something and be you know successful in doing it maybe not, just not as successful as someone else may be but but that and that could be because that's purely not your passion but for me i love trading you know um i love the the freedom uh that it gives me financially and the time that it provides me to spend more time with you know uh being at my own home and, and and with family and and traveling and doing things, I'm not a lavish type person where I need to be have all the glitz and glam and and I don't advertise that, no market that kind of stuff here on my channel. You see a lot of that. I'm sure you guys see a lot of that and enough of that over on YouTube. So I don't need to do that. I mean, I think people get caught up in that stuff and they chase it. All right, and I guess there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with having nice things, but the thing about it is, if you're glorifying it or you you're trying to um chase it behind because of what someone else has have and maybe so you're envious of what other people have uh, or you say to yourself hey i want that uh, particular uh home or, or or house or you know whatever it may be then you're gonna not you're, gonna, you're not gonna find any success in following or being envious of other individuals you know you have to to block that stuff out of your mind uh, and, and think just in terms of the now the reality of trying to make it now and succeeding and becoming accomplished because all that stuff can come down the road. You know, you may get to that point somewhere down the road where you're able to be blessed multiple times over and be able to um, acquire those things. OK, but you got to focus on what's most important standing in front of you. And that is starting at square one. All right. So the tips I want to kind of talk about today, if you're someone that's kind of frustrated and, and you have kind of put yourself on the shelf because you don't know how to reopen that door. You don't know how to get back on track. You're nervous about maybe when you get into a trade. Um, well, first and foremost, you've got to understand how to read the markets correctly. And I always talk about that in my video. But starting with number one, uh, what you really need to focus in on is yourself. Nothing and no one else. Stay in a zone to where you are um, thinking about where you need to, what you need to be doing and which to get you to where you want to be. And that is to become a successful and great trader, right? But you can't step into this business and just throw tons of money at it and thinking you're going to become successful and rich overnight. That doesn't make any sense, right? You think about anybody who wants to, to create and start a business, they have to set the building block. First, they have to build out a, a, uh, a, a business plan, okay? And that's where it all starts, starts at. And then they start putting in all the, the driving things like the fundamentals uh, that, and, and all the intricate details of things that they need to put it into place to make that business operate and to get it off the ground. All right. And it still takes time. You know, lots of businesses, businesses, the first couple of years don't make money. That's just to simply put, you know, they just kind of break even. And then maybe around year four or five, they start to be in the green. Okay. Um, so, you know, and I, I'm saying this for a reason because people think that they just want to get into this business and overnight make money have overnight success it's not going to happen i mean i'm not saying you're not you're not going to make money but you got to take time and taking the steps and building blocks to to slowly pace yourself to make money okay yes you can get into it and make a few hundred dollars a day 
All right. But if you think you're going to get into it and make thousands of dollars a day, tens of thousands of dollars of, uh, uh, um, in just a 30 day period, unless you already know how to trade and do it in the correct way and have the capital to be able to throw into a pot, meaning your brokerage account and do so, you're going to need to take steps. And I recommend taking those steps of just testing the waters, understanding, learning the principles and the concepts of trading to be able to get you into the position to where you can make a few hundred bucks a day. That's the, that's, that's, that's reality. But setting unrealistic goals for yourself where you think you're going to buy a Lamborghini after 30 days or, you know, within month two or three, all right, that's just not going to happen. I mean, for most, okay, I'm saying for most, I'm saying probably for more than 95% of the people out there, you have to take the time. You have to build up the knowledge, the know-how, okay, learn it, build up a, a small account to get to where you want to be at. I wouldn't. I don't recommend anyone taking ten, twenty thousand dollars and just throwing it into an account if they know nothing about trading because you're going to blow that account. All right. I'd rather for, to see you take that kind of money and put it into an account when you are able to trade and learn the right way to trade. Have a solid strategy, trading plan. You back tested, you forward tested, showing yourself that you have a positive win rate to where you can make X amount of not say X amount of money, but you have a positive win rate showing where you can, um, in a sense of. Um, you're win winning more than you're actually taking losses, all right? And I have tons of videos that talk about ways to prevent you or to get out of a trade quick enough to prevent you. It's all, you know, surrounding risk management um, and things of that nature. But anyway, stop having unrealistic goals. Start setting realistic goals for yourself, okay? That's what's going to, in the end, give you the positivity. It's going to give you a push in the right direction, but you got to believe in who you are as a person on the inside. Stop following and being all over so many different avenues and corners of the internet scouring for information um, when you just got to believe in the simple core concepts of what you need to know. Market structure, uh, price action, master those things. You got to be able to, you know, crawl before you can walk right so you got to be able to understand how the market moves because it's a real beast and it's always and forever changing to be able to do this thing the correct way number two stick to the basics of futures trading and that's in any market okay any market out there market structure that's the basics okay meaning stick to what you see going on on the charts all right understand and grasp is the market going up or is it going down? It can only really go, well, mainly in two directions, but sometimes you'll see it kind of moving sideways, right? And that's when we have to be smart as a beginner trader, stay out of the market until the market shows its hand. You ever play the game of cards, okay, with opponents? Then you wait for them to see, you wait to see how they position it themselves, okay? Do they have a certain tactic or, 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 or strategy that you, they're using? Wait for them to show their hand and then you take a play, okay? That's the way you need to do it, all right? I always talk about you want to trade with the institutions. Look to see what they're doing. How are they moving? Is the market trending to the upside? Look to see key areas or zones that where the market may have pushed higher, making higher highs and higher lows. We're trading supply and demand. Then there must be a beautiful demand set up resting back in some area or multiple ones. Trade the ones that are higher probability or have a higher chance or stake of when they tap into it, moving back to the upside, okay? So you have to be very smart. And if that trade starts to not work out, I talk about in videos how to get out of it quick enough to prevent yourself from taking on major drawdown and blowing your account, all right? So moving on to number three here, if I was someone I, and I could go back in time and I was just starting off and I learned the basics, again, guys, I talked about this before. It took me two years to really fully understand and get myself in a position to really start becoming profitable. But that's because I didn't know and I thought I knew how to read the market correctly. I say this time and time again because so many traders think they do and come out, come to find out they don't. They like, oh, wow, I was looking at this thing all wrong. All right. So once you got the know-how, you've got the, edu the, 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 the core components, okay, because that's all it takes is being able to read the market and be able to see things from a bigger standpoint. And that's why I talk about using higher base charts and moving down to uh, to scale down to lower base charts to look for look for entries. Trading in the direction of the higher base chart off your lower base chart. Whatever the higher base chart is doing on your lower base chart when you're looking for setups, trade in the direction with that higher base chart. The same direction. Take one trade a day, a high probability setup. As a beginner trader, I would recommend just starting off taking one trade a day, okay? Because once you educate yourself, once you found 
good video content right here on the channel for one okay but if you do, if you choose to go somewhere else that's up to you um learn market structure once you've mastered that and learn price action and put some goals in place for yourself how much money are you going to start with to trade with and i don't i don't recommend just throwing a bunch of money like i said into a pot trade because you want to start off small okay once you get the skin in the game take one trade a day pace yourself out for a few weeks see how you're doing week to week how many trades or how many wins are you making within one week? Okay, just trading one trade a day. So that's basically taking five trades a day. I mean, a week, excuse me, five trades a week. Out of those five days and taking those five trades, how many wins did you have? How many losses did you have? Start to kind of pace yourself to see week to week if you're winning more than you're actually losing. And then that's going to kind of let you know, hey, I'm actually doing okay. Even taking one trade a day on five days a week out of five trades, I've won three out of, I won, you know, three out of five trades or I won four out of five trades. But you got to be able to read the market the correct way and look for high probability setups. Once you've kind of put yourself in a position to where you are actually winning more than you're actually losing, meaning winning, meaning winning more trades, then maybe take two trades a day. Okay. Then you'll know, you will know it when you are starting to succeed because the, the, the math, the numbers will add up and you'll see real quickly that your percent of winning is higher than your losses. Okay. And uh, let's move on. So the biggest and one of the biggest mistakes I see, and this is going on to number four, a lot of traders make is over consuming so much information. It will confuse you. Okay. You learn something from one place or you pick something up that actually is probably helping you and then you shift over somewhere else and you try to add on additional things and then you start mixing the pot too much and then you've made a mess. All right. The, 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 uh, what I've seen over the years, people who truly succeed, succeed because of simplicity, meaning they're not over indulging with so much information on the internet going from site to site to video to video over consuming so much information stop doing that okay once you found something a concept that works a strategy and you found a simple means or a way to be actually trade stick to that okay consistency is at best the most important thing that you can um accomplish all right and maintain that all right even if you're making a few hundred dollars I don't care if you're making a hundred dollars a day. If you prove that you can make a hundred dollars a day every single day, then you're definitely on the right path. And all it is is just knowing that, oh, I made a hundred dollars a day. I know if I can make a hundred, I can make 500, right? But it all comes from consistency, doing the same thing in repetition over and over and over and over, sticking with the routine. Trust me when I say that. And the last thing that I want to talk about and say that may help uplift you to lift that discouragement that nervous feeling in your in your gut that you may feel the frustration you may feel from having taken so many losses is to believe in yourself and who you are uh just because you've had a few losing days or a few losing months does not mean that you cannot make it in this business trust me i've seen people who have had many many losing streaks okay and who have blown accounts um to turn things around and they figured out what they did were actually doing wrong and started to become successful simplicity again like i said Keeping things simple and being consistent that way is what's going to, um, in most work out at, in, in the end, okay, to allow you to become a profitable trader and continue doing things in repetition over and over. But you got to be able to read the market the correct way and understand that it's never, it's not going to do the same movements every single day. You're not going to see the same, same, uh, should say cycle, but the same type of setups every single day. Some days it'll trick you than others, all right? So you just got to, the most important thing I've learned about trading and I've learned this just, just in life in general, um, as I get older is, uh, you have to be patient. Patience is what really, um, uh, takes us to the next level as a, as people. All right. Uh, when we can sit back and analyze and, and think things, think things through more from a logical standpoint, then when you can sit back and be patient, uh, and look on your charts to see areas to where there could be multiple high probability setups, two or three. But think in terms of which one makes more sense, of, you know, in all, if we had a big impulse move to the downside or to the upside, think in terms of where the movement, like I always talk about, started at and try to get in position and take a trade where that move started at, at the upper end or lower end of a leg. OK, that just makes sense, especially when you got a beautiful high probability setup resting right there. So believe in yourself. Put in the work, spend time on the charts, 
not just once a, a week or twice a week, seven days a week. Okay, hours upon hours. All right, uh, I spend I spend time on my charts every single day, even into the weekends. Be honest with you, okay? I go back and restudy setups that I've taken. And then I'm looking at my charts even on the weekends. I'm constantly, constantly doing homework, and I recommend you doing the same. But that's all I have to share with you today. Just I'm all I'm saying is believe in yourself. Stop being afraid. Stop feeling discouraged. Things will turn around, but you've got to put in the, the, the time and open up your eyes so you can see what's going on in your charts in the bigger picture. Now, outside of that, if you're not a current sub or subscriber, Please take the time to go ahead and click on that sub button. I have tons of videos here on the channel where I cover, you know, my live recorded sessions where I have live trades where you can watch me actually trade and I go into detail about those trades or discussion of the trades. Also to where I talk about certain topics surrounding trading, providing you great uh, quality tips and advice that, that uh, may help you out in your own personal trading. Okay. But it, and there's so much more content. I have over 800 videos on the channel, and there's just something there for everyone. Trust that when I say that. All right? But if you're not a current sub, go ahead. Please take the time to click on that sub button. Make sure to turn on all your post notifications so you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel. I appreciate and thank everyone watching today's video. I know we are into the weekend, but you know me. I like to drop video content because I'm trying to inspire it. I want to uplift people to continue to do this beautiful thing that we call Trading Futures. Outside of that, if you found value in today's video, please drop a like on it. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend.